Welcome everybody. In this short video, we'll try to compare the two previous videos. The first one, please record that um, we have done something related to the continued fraction here. Um, please look at this example. This example was in that video also that we have done the continued fraction um, decomposition for um, for the fraction 13 over 24. And then we arrive at um, this continued fraction here. And um, that was the continued fraction we talked about, that every fraction can be um, represented as a continued fraction manner. And this previous video regarding the Euclidean algorithm, we also did this example for 13 and 24 as the following. So it should be the Euclidean algorithm um, you are able to get, which is the same as the previous video. And please note that the similarity between the two methods, continued fraction and Euclidean algorithm, the similarity is that such a pattern 1152 is exactly the same as the pattern 1152 in the continued fraction. Isn't it amazing? And the fact is that um, it is always true that the pattern you get for the continued fraction is the same as the pattern you get for the Euclidean algorithm. A small note has to be made regarding this, um, this zero here. This zero is um, the integral component for the um, for the frac fraction we're talking about here. In that case, because this fraction is smaller than 1, so the integral component is 0. And that's why we're able to get 0 at the beginning. And please look at the second example here. How about 24 and 67? So, um, we're able to get that um, we have a continued fraction decomposition for 67 over 24. Um, in the video regarding the continued fraction, please check it again if you forget how to do it. And um, can you try to do the Euclidean algorithm for these two numbers now? Maybe you can practice it on your own before looking forward to this video a little bit. So you should be able to arrive such a Euclidean algorithm for 67 and 24. So now, just do a simple check. Please check this pattern, 21314. It is exactly the same as the pattern we get for the Euclidean algorithm. So um, the fact now is that um, the pattern is always the same for the two methods. Isn't it amazing? Because they look um, they look so different at the appearance, and the purpose of them are so different. And um, so now the final thing for you in this short video is that it's a small exercise for all of you. Please look at the fraction here, 77 over 29. Please try to decompose it as a continued fraction, um, and then please try to do it uh, by the Euclidean algorithm. You should be able to get that, um, you'll get the same pattern, uh, just like the previous two examples in this video. Uh, please try it on your own, it's pretty interesting here. And that's the end of this video. There will be something more to say regarding these two properties. And um, thank you everybody.